Meanwhile, here in Cleveland, City Hall has finally tallied the cost of protecting the city during that first very memorable presidential debate that took place here in September, which had no major incidents thanks to a big police presence. Well, the city vowed not to stick taxpayers with the bill for the event, which was sponsored by the Cleveland Clinic and held on its campus. In a Three News exclusive, Mark Namick has a copy of the bill and explains who is going to be paying for it. Cleveland City Hall did not embrace the news last summer that the Cleveland Clinic volunteered to host the first presidential debate amid a pandemic and social unrest. The city still reeling from the May 29th protest against police brutality that ended with rioting and left millions in damages and exposed flaws in the police response. The plan is to keep the entire city safe. Mayor Frank Jackson promised to be ready for President Trump and his Democratic challenger, Joe Biden. Will you shut who is up, man? Listen, who is but the mayor and city council also promised to get someone else to pay for police overtime and other security measures. I don't want any of your city dollars spent on this event. The Cleveland Clinic agreeing to pick up the tab for some costs. Three News has obtained a copy of the bill just sent to the clinic. The city seeking $463,000 in reimbursement from the clinic per its agreement, though the total cost, according to the invoice, topped 660000 The bulk related to police overtime, followed by fire and EMS costs. There's good news for taxpayers. The Cleveland Clinic said in a statement it has received the invoice and is in the process of paying it. I'm Mark Namick, 3 News.